So what I'm doing today is my catfish crawtator crusted baked fish. So of course we're going to start out with catfish. We're going to season this up just a little bit. Don't season it too much because crawtators have just a little bit of seasoning on them already. Next we have our crawtators. Of course this is where you can get your kids involved while you're doing all the other stuff because they love to crush things. And now three eggs. Scram! Now that we have everything prepped, this is where your kids can also stay involved. So what we're going to do, remember, you're going to want to take the fish into the eggs and then out of there and with one hand into the chips and then the other hand with the chips getting them battered. Otherwise, you end up with club hand, whether it's the adults or the kids. Now, once we get all of it battered up, we're going to put it on the sheet tray. But of course, this sheet tray has a cooling rack inserted inside, so it's going to hold up the fish and make sure that it cooks all the way around. Y'all ready? Let's get started. Now that we have the fish nuggets all laid out on our sheet pan, a little bit of room in between each one of them so the air can go all the way around so it'll get crisp on every single side, we're gonna go ahead and throw them in the oven. Well, before you go and do that, remember, I'm fixing to show you a sauce that is mom and dad all over it. So this is gonna go in 400 degrees, about 10 minutes, and we're gonna make our sauce. While the nuggets are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make our spicy sauce. So what I have here is some pepper jelly. You can tell this one's kind of loose. If you have one that's a little bit more firm, you add a little water to it so that it gets there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a little bit of brown sugar and some butter to make it just a little creamy. Start together. All right, so there you have it. Our crawtator crusted catfish. This is the kids' version. This is my version. So we're gonna go ahead and drizzle just a little bit of our sauce on it. You can use it for dipping, whatever. Anyway, remember, please subscribe, Paul Io, all of our social media and everything else, and we hope to see you very soon. And thank you so much. I'm gonna eat now.